Well, what you post online could make it beyond your social network. Lafayette Police tells us that's what happened when a student shared a post on Facebook. Channel 5's Gabriela Garza went looking for answers and found out what could happen if you share too much. La Feria ISD posted a statement on its Facebook page to families about a threat on social media. That sent families into panic. It reads, parents and students, apparently there were some posts on social media this afternoon concerning threats at La Feria High School. District administration has been working with the police department and have determined the threats are not credible. All scheduled activities will continue as planned. This morning, we witnessed extra security patrolling on and around campus. Assistant Superintendent Cynthia Torres tells us the district immediately contacted law enforcement and investigated this potential threat. Through the investigation, they found the threat not to be credible. So we addressed the uh, situation as promptly as we could and uh, we investigated the information and uh, it appeared not to be a, uh, a direct threat to any of the campuses or anything involving the district. Posts regarding this threat against the high school were shared on Facebook. That's what alerted La Feria Police Chief Cesar Diaz. Yes, definitely. We take uh, any threat to our uh, community or our school district or our kids uh, very seriously. The post warned others. Chief Diaz tells us this is not the way to handle a situation like this. Well, nowadays, uh, social media is a, it makes a big impact on our community, and, and people seem to... Uh, to follow social media. Diaz says what you post is not overlooked and could possibly lead you to trouble. Depending on what is being posted, I mean, uh, there's, uh, there, if, if there's elements for, for something that was violated and uh, if it was done in a malicious way or anything like that, of course there's consequences, especially when it comes to, to the safety of our community. He says he hopes people learn. We would rather that uh, if there is something out there, we encourage our community to report any type of crime or any type of illegal activity that they spot on social media so we can look at it and assess it appropriately. Chief Diaz tells us they're working towards organizing a local Crime Stoppers unit to work with the community, including schools and students. He hopes this will help people feel more comfortable and know how to share information with law enforcement. In La Feria, Gabriela Garza, Channel 5 News at 4.